The best tool I've used for mocap from a single video is Quick Magic AI. No rigging skills or animation skills required. Let me show you how to use it with Mixamo and Blender. Click the link in the description to open the Quick Magic AI homepage. Upload your video. Choose an output format for the rig. I'll pick Mixamo because it works best in Blender. Click Next. Name your project. Select the body parts to capture. Mixamo characters can use full body and hands. For the first keyframe, choose T-Pose so you can attach CG characters to the rig. Check the bottom for the V-Coin estimate. You can use the link in the description to get 60 extra V-Coins. Click Generate Now. When the upload finishes, click Next again. Grab a coffee and wait a few minutes for the motion to generate. When it's done, click the video to preview it. The motion works as expected, but glitches can happen, especially when the feet leave the ground. Fix this by clicking the 2D refinement button. Use the timeline controls to find the glitch. Switch to IK. When feet are on the ground, they should be red. In the air, they should be green. In my clip, a heel in the air turned red. That's the glitch. Change it to green in the left panel for every frame it's red. Scrub through and correct any other spots. Most problems come from this issue, but I've also seen cases in FK mode where one side of the rig suddenly changes color, especially in jumping shots. To fix that, you can try clicking the mirror button for those frames. Click Save. Click Recreate Now. Wait for the fixes to regenerate. Click the video to confirm that the issues are fixed. Then click download. To import into Blender, drag the extracted FBX into the viewport. Enable automatic bone orientation so bones face the right way. Click import FBX. Now let's add a character. Go to Mixamo and log in. Pick a character. I found one that looks a bit like me. Go to Animations, select T-Pose, and click Download. Choose FBX with Skin. Match your mocap frame rate. Set keyframe reduction to None, and Download. Import it into Blender like before with automatic bone orientation. To see the bones better, go to the Object Data Properties, Viewport Display, and enable In Front. Select the Mixamo rig, Shift select the Quick Magic rig, press Ctrl L, and choose Link Animation Data. But this workflow only works with Mixamo characters. So for your own character, let Mixamo rig it first. Export from Blender as FBX or OBJ. First press Ctrl A and apply all transforms. Then go to File, Export, FBX. Set the path mode to copy and enable selected objects. Set the file location and click Export FBX. To export as OBJ, go to File, Export, OBJ. Make sure selection only is enabled, and to avoid issues, disable materials. Set your location and click export. If one doesn't work, try the other. Upload to Mixamo. Place the markers. Click next. And once it's rigged, click Next. Download the character in T-Pose again. Import to Blender. And link the animation data. And that's it! Sometimes your model will be imported as tiny and without materials, especially if you uploaded and rigged in Mixamo using an OBJ file. 
This is how I fixed that. Select your character and press S100 to scale it up by 100. Now it's normal size, but the scale parameters don't match with the rig that we downloaded from QuickMagic. Press S100 again to scale it by 100 once more. Then with your character and rig selected, press Ctrl A to apply all transforms. Next, press S.01 to scale it back down. Now that the scale parameters match, we can link the animation data. Then keep a copy of the original model so you can copy the materials from it. It's really fun seeing characters come to life with motion you've choreographed yourself. I definitely recommend giving it a try. Don't forget to use the link in the description for 60 extra V coins and to get familiar with quick magic. You'll need them, because in the next video I'll show you how I created some unique and unexpected scenes using quick magic and a simple trick. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!